say you found the $20,000 in a cruise ship? That is correct, sir. A cruise ship that you found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean after it had completely dried up? Well, not completely dried up. Then you brought it here in your time machine. A temporal transport device. Uh-huh. You ever been inside the Bureau of Engraving? On numerous occasions. Oh, so you admit it. Of course. I supervised the excavation. The what? You see, when the city of Washington took a direct hit from the comet Abaddon... Oh, for the love of God. Sir, something you need to see. Hello. Just came in from D.C. Secretary's signature. The yet-to-be-nominated Secretary's signature. This is a perfect match. Which means what? Which means maybe the money isn't counterfeit. Everything about it is real except for the date. Maybe this guy's telling us the truth. That he's actually from the in the future. That is not possible. I don't know how else to explain it. All right, whatever this is, I don't know what the hell's happening, but it is out of my pay grade. Connect me with the National Security Agency. David, you're a CIA deputy director. You can do this. I told you, it's over. Please don't shut me down. David, Senator Feldman's looking for you. Tell him I'll be right say they've been monitoring the blast but if in fact this was a covert military strike no nation has yet cia is up my ass about this mystery raid in the middle east so we found her body in the station there's nothing we can do thanks few weeks quietly reach out to mary elkins i want to meet that woman ma'am if we can have you in the chair i need to get a level yep it looks like this fog is a little too scary for the rest of my team yankee flight roger you hear that bell it's like a ride just turned around it took you guys long enough but you forgot about us sorry about the wait sarge but trust me you did want to be on this aircraft a couple hours ago <sighs> tell me that all right, in my defense, uh, the eggnog was, was quite strong that night, and I had this really nice uh, mistletoe belt buckle. It was adorable. It really we was. just wait a second. Okay, something. wait. Can we just back up? In your flashback, your sister did not have an accent. So what's that about? Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah, he goes on vacation for a week in Europe, comes back with a British accent. How do you feel about that? It's annoying! Uh, why is that true? You know, fine, yeah, it's true. Oh, look, I can stop. I can stop whenever I want. Is that what you want? Is this it? Yeah, I would have been real happy if you stopped four months ago. Oh, you know what? You and I would have been real happy if you would have paid me back the money you owed me four months ago. But who's counting, right? What? Excuse me, are you seriously drinking a wine cooler? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. We were tailgating in the parking lot. Yeah. I don't want to bring beer. That's not classy. So I thought, it was you know, we get classy. I brought some cheese, too. You want some? No, thank you. All right, seat yourself. Whatever. It's good shit. With a Ford Expedition Platinum Edition plus $100,000, you can take your adventures further. Nature! Like going kayaking, where you find an injured bald eagle. That you take in. After weeks of rehabilitation, you drive him home. Be free! But the eagle has grown loyal. And now he goes where you go. That's my boy. All Whoa! because you took the adventure further. Sam, so good to see you. Sean Ward, I'm the owner of Pierce Farm. Thanks so much for the invitation. We are so excited to get going. Absolutely. Well, as you can obviously see, this is our beautiful library. And this is where you'll be telling your ghost story. Ah. Ah, actually, in the 1690s, Mary Eastie, one of the accused Salem witches, was arrested on this very property. And this is Benjamin Crowninshield. He was the Secretary of the Navy and built this mansion. This is Benjamin's cousin, Richard, the black sheep of the family. He's the subject of my ghost story tonight. Really? Then I have something to show you. And though we are but 20 men versus an army of 10,000, we shall not be defeated! So what's this battle about again? My lady has betrayed me and gone to the enemy king. 
Yeah, you don't need a battle, you need couples therapy. Going back to the sports bar. Chariot race in 20 minutes. Doritos on me! Ooh, Doritos. Where are you going? Doritos. All right, fine, go, go. Me and my trusty steed shall take down this army. Steed? Ah, oh, that's just great.